Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Moore's adventure in Factorio. So what's happening today? Well, I did a few modifications here. I added another kind of set of units to create process units. And I changed my whole red circuit production new concept up here to down here. So I extended it. Added two extras there, so now there's five, and this looks like it's working as expected. Everything's operating, which is good. Plastic and s circuits are being funneled in. Uh, this should be producing plastic at a good rate. Perfect. Okay, so why did I, I come back? Well, let's go map. So what I've been doing is I put a wall around this whole area here. I also removed the two stations because the resources are, are mined out. So we're mining out these resources at the moment. There are small pockets of iron, copper, there's iron here. So the plan is, is to build a train stop up here and then you pull in all these resources into that train stop and bring it back into the main base here to be used if I needed to live that long. <laughs> up here there's all this iron up here as well so there's this whole strip of iron basically up here that we can you tap into if we need it. Um, over here I tore this out I got this operational this all funnels in into here and then gets filtered out and then these are all kind of funneling in and into the base here. I also cut off this copper because I was making too much copper and then down here here we have the, uh, the oil that gets funneled in. There's also some oil here we've tapped into that gets funneled in as well. Um, trying to think what else here do we have. Okay well let's get back to it. So why have I called you guys? Well, this is why. That goes online, and now we can actually bring that online, so it's all online. And we got 50 productivity models and 50 speed modules. Well, why do we need that? Well, because we need 50 speed and 50 productivity. Now we need 100 processing units, so we'll just destroy that. So this will let accumulate to have 100 processing units. Here we're waiting for all these advanced circuits to come in. That's kind of what we're waiting for, and that's that seems to be the holdup. Let's take a look here. What I might need to do, I might need to create like that maybe. Let's see how that works. An extra set of of. Uh, Oh, how, how about that? Okay, well, let's see what that does. Uh, probably don't need the, the extra guys. But these ones are okay, I think. Maybe. I don't know if that will actually speed up production or not. But basically, that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for these process units to be done. What else have I been doing? I've been building the wall, as I mentioned. Oh yeah, I built some of these guys. So I, I have the the power armor mark too. Basically, you right click to open them, and I have some more lasers I want to put into this guy here. Let's see here. I just want to put those there. Got batteries. Got the fusion reactor. Uh, let's see here. Let's put these solar panels up there. I guess I can put more shield guys if I want. Uh, the night vision is pretty cool. But yeah, this is awesome. This power armor is really good. You get to run around too. I've also been building up here kind of like you know disruptors. I think I showed this last episode. So. So that's happening there, and let's let's check out the research area. So these are all operating as fast as they can. So it looks like copper is the is the the clincher, the one that kind of yeah that we've run out of. Looks like it seems. So that's why this production here is actually slower. 
That's interesting. How about this? What's this at? Oh yeah, okay. I'm just checking. This I think I have going. I don't think I need that much. Let's stop it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay. No, I'm just kind of watching. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer some of those red uh, circuits. And we're going to actually transfer those down like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's transfer all of them. Maybe that's why I'm doing that. I can't remember. I was playing this a lot just so I could get to this point. So let's just put those in there. Put those in here. Put those there. Put those there. And one more set right there. Okay, so that should I like this increase the uh, the production of the cells. So I'm glad I, I siphoned them off actually up here. Now it looks like we need circuits. Don't have very many of those coming down. Why is that? Is that because up here these guys? Let's stop that. That's interesting. I think I made the big buffer for the research, right? So that way when I activate the research, uh, I've got everything except for the com the combat robot here. And it looks like it keeps going up, and I'm not sure how ha how high this goes up. So, yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, so all we're waiting for now is basically that last processing unit to be... Oh, here we go. Look at that. There we go. Now we got nice. I like that actually. All those, you know, like since it's not being used, this is kind of like independent system. So maybe we'll just leave that row up there. Haven't had any very many attacks with the attacks. I've been using the tank and the destroyer capsules, and that seems to do the trick. I've been using grenades as well because the grenades seem to do the trick as well. And so we're just going to hopefully wait for these guys to come filter down. But hmm. let's see here if we can kind of snag from these this one here. Let's do the same with this here. Let's do that, and let's do that. That way we have a couple hundred of those guys. And then let's throw this actually into here. Let's throw that into here as well. And let's throw this one in here too. And that should kind of get everything going. How many do we need of those guys again? We need, ooh, 100. So I have the circuits, I have the rockets, have the speed, have the productivity. Now I just need basically the processing units. Yeah, okay, process units. We got 34, so that's not too bad. What else can I talk about? Let's see here. Let's go check out our, our inputs and output crap. So why is my input not working? Okay, looks like we've got everything into this thing here. So let's take this apart. I'm going to do this on camera. So basically what I've done is we're done with this stuff here. And what we're going to do basically is we're going to tear this all up. Um, yeah, we need to take out these arms basically first things first. And what we're going to do is we're going to build another column of those electric furnaces like here. So that way then we can... I wonder why they're so slow. 
Unless that's just the way they are. It's just weird because I want them faster. So maybe I need a whole another set of of uh, another processing column, basically. So let's see here. Let's tear this all up. We've got tons of copper ore that we're picking up. Okay, so let's disconnect this one. Okay, let's pick that up. Let's throw it all into here. Let's throw that into here as well. Oops. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Okay, perfect. So we got all that in there. Yeah, okay, we're going to build another column. I'm just not sure how I want to build that at the moment. So let's kind of redo all this structure here. Okay. Let's just take this out here. I think once we take this out, we'll be able to clearly see what we're looking at here. So let's see here. And hopefully we'll have the 100 processing units that point. Let's take that out. Take this stuff out. Okay. Okay, and I think we can take these out. Okay. Take that out. Perfect. Okay, so see how we got this column here? Well, we should be able to improvise that column. So let us carry this on like so these things are gonna get in the way actually so let's go this way let's go underneath okay let's bring this over this way and let's curve it down and Okay, now let's, let's sever the connection, do that, let's pick this up, let's cut the connection here, there we go, okay. So now we got more room to work with here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so now we got more room to work with. Got some funky stuff happening down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some more of these electric furnaces. I'm actually filled up with stuff. It's just crazy. And now we're going to place these guys. We're going to place them in the same kind of spots. And basically what we're doing is we're going to build this whole area. I think I could use bots for this because I'm in range. I just didn't even think about using bots. <laughs> so now we can place these guys like so. Bang and bang. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll basically... same way we'll just drop them off on a central belt just like so let's build the central belt and basically we connect in with a splitter like so and yeah let's build another set of furnaces that's just like this well of course I have to put the power in uh, like that which is awesome which it all seems to work now let's place these guys and let's place the inputs right
Now I want to do something like this with the iron as well, but unfortunately I'm unable to. So I'm making sure the belt's going the right way. Okay. And then we do this. Okay. Got that going and let's power this up. So the power we've got going basically to these central areas here. Like that. Like that. And look at that. Now we got it all increasing here. Let's see if that does anything. Uh, looks like we need power down here. Let's put lights in. Where do, we, where do we want to put lights? Put them there and there. Let's put it like that. So it's a little bit different. And let's put it right there. Okay, so there we go. So we got more copper being processed and pushed through. Let's see what it looks like here. Yeah, it's a lot better now. The copper stocks look a lot healthier and now circuit production is being pushed through, which is good. Let's see how's this stuff happening. Got this, we got that. Let's take a look at this copper. Okay, everything is looking good. Let's see, let's put this in place there. Let's pick up some more of those guys right here. Let's actually ma uh, let it make two. Two, it's always better. And then if we got extra... Okay, no. Okay, so the iron is kind of in the same boat. It only has the one. You know, we have the old way here with the the fuel that it goes. Oh yeah, what happened up here? Uh, yeah, that's right. Now we have the fuel just going the one direction into here. Interesting. Let's put that in there. Okay. See how this is working. Oh, it's starting to back up. Woot woot. Uh oh. Uh, let's see here. How can we fix that? We could do this. Do that. And then we can bring another line. So it doubles it up, right? Uh, let's see here, where's, right, and then we can carry it through, and hook it right in, there we go, now that kind of creates a little bit of a buffer, it doubles it up, and yeah, well, yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure how that helps, maybe it doesn't, but at least now the copper is being just destroyed and you'll, you'll load it up, so, which is good, that's what we want. Let's check to see if those things are done, uh, let's see, we got the batteries being made like crazy, we got plastic being made, beautiful. This is able to fuel all the plastic production. Uh, we got red circuits all the way up to here, which is actually surprising. So what's going on with the green circuits? Where are they all going? Uh, oh yeah, this guy. Okay, maybe we'll not do that. Maybe we'll just have the two... Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I think if this stops, we'll have more coming down this way. 
because the little that does come down here takes forever so let's take a look at this I need a hundred 76 woo man well I'll tell you what I'll be right back when this is at a hundred all right okay I'll see you over on the other side okay well welcome back so I think we got a hundred in here now so let's grab those <clears throat> so I think that's it here we go rocket defense boom that's it it's built and where do we put this ha look at this <laughs> oh, let's put it right by here so it's there you go rocket defense is done 10 minutes look at that I'll be right back just before it's done it's time to thank you all for watching you know for those of you who've watched this series from start to finish I appreciate you taking the time and effort um, otherwise, if not, maybe you should go back and look at the whole series, kind of from start to finish, how this base happens. At one point, there's a spot where all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of work that I've done that is gone. Uh, you know, it's like it all of a sudden jumps. It's because, <clears throat> unfortunately, I overwrote an episode there somewhere. So, yeah, so I lost that information, and there's dogs barking in the background. Hopefully you don't hear that. It's so hard to record here with the family, with with everybody, but you know they've been very supportive of of this hobby, and yeah, it's just good. It's good to see you know so many subscribers. I've got I think as of date 78. Um, as of was it May 22nd? Is it 22nd, 23rd, something like that? I don't know. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see that there's people out there that watch me that watch me create content for YouTube it's just crazy who would have ever thought that that would have happened uh, yeah well it just gives me a reason to play video games right to, to want to, to play them to to record them so that way maybe one day I'll watch them back or, or maybe my kids can look at them maybe our little one or new one will be able to look at them who knows who knows only life can tell, and you definitely ch uh, you check out Goblin Bait Gaming. Uh, he's trying to kind of get his your channel launched and going, and and you know, he's committed himself to doing a lot of videos. And <laughs> you know, good luck to him and in all his endeavors. And I see the plastics being run down here. Crazy, we're just burning through the plastic. Even though we got a lot of plastic here. A lot still being made and then put into here so it's just interesting we got two minutes before the fleet gets here let's put our wood into one of these containers here so it looks like these are slowly being moved into here which then goes into our copper resource area which is for the plastics and explosives and other fun stuff like that Man, this is a long haul, uh, a very long haul. I could start research, but that would kind of wind down everything and that would cause everything to slow down because the resources up here would get used and this would all get wrecked. Uh, night vision goggles are back on, so which are pretty cool. I'm glad that, that we're able to see in the dark. This base is huge. I didn't realize I'd be building one this big with the walls and everything. I like that strategy, kind of creating walls and you know little sections of forts inside, and then I was going to build turrets all the way around here for defenses. And then as I expanded out, I would build wall sections and and carry on to carry on that whole idea. Now I don't know what happens here once this you kind of goes down to a minute, but yeah. Man, 41 episodes. I think this one's number 41. So it's <laughs> it's a lot of episodes, but you know I already have plans for what I'm gonna do with the next episode. With the next episode, I'm waiting for Alpha 0.12 to come out, which should be the next major update that they're working on. Uh, there'll be a bunch of new features in there. I know there's gonna be some path stuff that they're gonna want to put in there. Um, there's a bunch of cool stuff that they're gonna you know, implement into the main game and I like that I like playing the game vanilla and it's in its vanilla state I know there's a lot of mods out there for this game but uh, yeah yeah definitely 
This game's definitely worth the money that I paid for it. Uh, I think I paid for this 14 bucks or 12 bucks or I don't know, I can't remember. But I basically bought it off their website, the Factorio website. Um, and they're looking to get uh, activated to be put on, stream, on Steam or whatever the process is to get on Steam. So here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Watch it be boring. Ah! Yay! Game finished. So let's take a look at this. We got time plates, 78 hours. Kills. Woo! Small buyers, medium buyers, big biters. Dark green, thin trees. Big biter or big spitter, small spitter. Ah, that's so that's so neat. Gray dead trunk. What's this stuff? Solar panel one, pipe to ground one. I wonder what these things are here. Gun turrets two. Oh, maybe it kills with this stuff. I don't know. Not sure how that all works out. And we go finish. That's it. This is Factorio. Well, thank you everybody for watching. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next uh, series. And I'm not sure when that will be. I'm going to take a break from this game. But I'll be playing my Star Maid and, and you know, Seven Days to Die with Lushable Echo. And yeah. So thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see you in the next series. Bye-bye.